Yo, this man is a monster, said nobody ever, okay? I'm sorry, I may have clickbait you guys, but we have some things to discuss, okay? Because look at my rating right now. I'm, ba I'm barely in Legends, okay? I lost 300 points in two days. And this is why, okay? Um, anyway, first of all, I want to say what I'm seeing from Rico Trials, the Pikachu's plus 200, is awesome. I'm loving everything about it. And I read the comments from my last Pokemon Duel video. I asked what you guys wanted to see. People said uh, flying decks. People said sleep decks. Some people said non-meta decks. So I was like, all right, I'm going to make a flying non-meta deck, okay? And obviously, you can tell... You have to have meta mons to be competitive at all. I mean, duh, Rico. I could have told you that. I know anybody could have told you that. But I'm just reiterating the fact that <sighs> there's way too many golds in the meta. And uh, there's a lot of figures that need reworking, okay? Let's start off. <laughs> Let's just start off with this little, this little deck that I created. So what I want to do is I want to do like... For this month of November, each week I just want to try a different deck and just see how well I can do for that one week. So I, I have until Monday with this deck, and uh, I, I might have found a place for it, but it, it is definitely not in league. Okay, so let's take a look at my deck. Um, Flying Mons, I decided to bring the Swellow because Swellow has a gold and it has this fly where it lands, it uh, jumps over the battle opponent and then it lands one to two steps away, kind of like the Reshi Ram and the Zekrom. I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe some cheesy wind, but I mean, Granny is only level four. He only hits for 50, you know, so not much about him, but maybe we could do some cheesy stuff. Gardevoir, the reason why I brought Gardevoir, Gardevoir is because I bring in the lower form of, I'm bringing the Charmeleon into the Charizard because Charizard is a flying fire type Pokemon and his Mega Y is a flying fire. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna bring the Gardevoir so we can do the switch, the um, the warp hole switch so I can set up the matchup how I want it and then attack with the Charmeleon and evolve into the Charizard, okay? That's the reason why I've got those two mods. And then we got the Moltres. I didn't really, I, initially I didn't have the Moltres at first, but I, you need somebody who can hit for above 110. Like you need someone to com, to combat Zapdos. You, you just need it, okay? So that's why, that's why we have Moltres. <coughs> Rollet, because Rollet's so cool. Uh, with his rapid approach and the Dartrix, because Dartrix is pretty cool too. I like them both, you guys seen in my last um, grass deck uh, video that I like them. And then the, the Mets, okay? We bring on the Mets. This man needs reworking so bad because he's got this terrible, fl I mean, flyaway, it's okay. But this Dragon Breath 70, it's not cutting it. Not cutting it whatsoever. Can I just tell you how, I see this mod, I'm like, I mean, he might do okay against Mew, right? Because of that 70. I played Mew and um, I'm like, yeah, 70 will take out this Mew. This Mew rolled Shuttle Flip twice. And then on my third roll, I get the fly away, and he gets the hypersonic, and I'm like, Are you... can we talk about RNG for a minute? Because RNG seems to be going crazy bad. Like, DC, D, do, using the DC and getting double misses, like, it's happened to me more than once. That's, that's insane. I feel like one out of every seven games, I get decent or good RNG. The rest is just utter trash, okay? And then let's take a look at this man, Mega Mets. He was a beast in the Game Boy games. Why in the world do I have a Protect and a Protect that is that large? Why? Like, it it makes no sense. Mega Man definitely needs a reworking. And then my... Okay, first of all, I just want to tell you guys right now. This, this deck was not meant to be, like, competitive at all. I just wanted to have some fun and see what I can do. But by no means, if you're going to be competitive, do not bring two Megas. Do not bring two Megas because that's four plates gone wasted but i wanted to have some fun so yeah, i got the mega mints or the salamon knight and the charizard knight scoop up uh double chance switch and the x attack originally i had a swap spot two double chances i think that was it but like i said this, there's there's no room for this deck in competitive in league but we did come out with a new haul and the new haul is all unique so i'm like oh 
maybe this deck, maybe this deck has a place in there. Uh, we're about to jump in and see. But before we do any of that, there is two account giveaways. One is from the homie plays Digimon Links. Digimon Links. Let's take a look at what he has. Uh, Digimon Links. Uh, I agree with this man. The grind is just too much, man. That's why I don't even play it that much anymore. Uh, but he's got a lot of good Digimons, and he's selling the account, and I think he's selling it for uh, sixty dollars. So sixty dollars is what he's looking for. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know. Let's take a look at what he's got. He's got a War Greymon. Uh, I don't think it's a plus though. It's not like a plus four or anything like that. He's got the Omega Mon, Metal Guru Mon. He's got all these sweet Mons. Oh, his that mon is plus four, so that one's fully. So that's cool. And he's got a lot of did you evolution feel. So if any of you guys are interested in that, please let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. Also, what I want to talk about is our friend Jake Razor. Okay, he's selling his account, and uh, my recording stopped. So <sighs> give me one second, and we're gonna have to jump back in. I do not know why this stopped, but uh, hold on, give me one second. All right, we are back. I hope my freaking quick time does not start doing this again. I'll be so pissed. But yeah, uh, Jake's selling his account, and I believe he's selling it for 40 You can email him right here. $40 or uh, best offer. It's definitely negotiable, but let's take a look at what he's got here. He's got two Mega Gengars. Man, I really want Mega Gengar, but I kind of don't because it's annoying. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you pictures of his Mons. Pretty good mon Uh-oh. What did I do? There we go. Pretty good Mons. Oh man, he's got a Manaphy. So lucky. For Blastoise. Yeah. Uh, Jake, like I said, he's selling his account. So if any of you guys want Jake's account, please let me know in the comments or email him. Like I said, 60 bucks. And uh, I'm going to show you guys. Well, I thought I recorded two games. But it looks like I only recorded one. So we're going to jump in. And I don't even remember this game. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you what I'm working with until Monday. We're going to be running this deck until Monday. And then uh, we're going to be changing decks. And I'll show you what deck I'm currently working on. What match was this? Oh my. Can I? Okay. I remember this match now. I remember. Okay. <clears throat> Take a look at this guy's place. Oh yeah. This, by, by the way, this is in the hall. It's, it's in the uh, unique. So, like, there's no gold blocks, there's no swap spots, there's no double figures. I'm like, okay, we might be able to use this deck, so let's see what we do here. Brings up that Coco, and I'm like, oh, bro, I have the X attack in here for one reason, for the Raleigh, and we're going straight after this Coco, and that's, and it's pretty much going to be GG, boys, right? All right. I'm not even paying attention right now, okay? Hello? Why does this man have chain levels on this Coco? After that happened, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I should probably look, take a look at my uh, my opponent's mods, but I was so salty right there. I was so pissed off. I was like, who puts chain levels on their Coco? I was so, <sighs> I was so mad. I was, I was so mad. <clears throat> what do I do here? Uh, I can't remember. Do I attack? I don't think I do. I think I bring it on the left side. Because then it allows me to bring on more mons. I was I wanted to DC and attack on the right side, but I was like, uh with my luck and the way RNG's been going, I'm just gonna go be safe and I'm gonna go from the left side. That way I can bring more mons onto the board. And my opponent, I think he attacks here. And uh, this is what happened. What? What? I got some decent RG and I'm like, alright, we are gonna pull out that Rollet. That's exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> And then, we are going to DC. Wait, did I DC? I think I DC'd. Because we're going to try and get this Charger on the board. That's exactly what we do. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. This is like a tough workout, a tough cardio workout, and my, my lungs are like on fire. Uh, and I didn't hit the purple like this. I was, this game, I was like, what? How am I hitting rolls? So we got the two MP Charizard on the board, and I'm like, okay, okay, I can deal with this. But uh, that yeah, Gardevoir is really, um, really useful for that, and I really like it. But then he brings up this man, and I'm like, oh well, Charizard, are GG boys. If I get confused, that is yeah. So I am definitely fearing this man here. So by the way, when I ran this deck in league, I won one match out of ten. Well, I mean, the two um, 
bug boss. Yeah, obviously one those, but I won one, one, and it was because I yoloed and I it was a uh, or swello for the win. It was pretty funny. So he's bringing up my opponents, bringing up that Zapdos. I decided to bring up my Moltres because Moltres has that 110. But I'm like, oh wait, he has Coco on the board. Duh. Whoops. And he gets another miss, and I'm like, no way. Okay. Wow. Two roll. Zap hitting two misses in a row. Like, hello. This never happens. Oh, I'm pretty upset that I didn't. I thought I had the other game. Because I had another match. It was a pretty good match. But I, I guess I didn't save. <clears throat> Nothing I can do there. So I think my opponent brings up the advances. Do I retreat? I don't remember. I think I do retreat. And then I start advancing with the Salamence. Pretty sure, yeah. I think I advanced with Salamence. <coughs> Sorry again. I don't think my opponent attacks me here. He doesn't, and I'm like, okay. So here is the plan, okay? I wanted to bring, I wanted to, I wanted to get the fly, and I wanted to fly over the Raikou and the Sableye and land right next to my uh, Charizard just to just to show the two KOs. But I, like I said, why does this man have a protect? Why? 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 Or not over next to my charger, but next to the Coco. So it takes them both out, and then I can threaten game. I think he. What does he do? <clears throat> X speed? I don't know if I win this roll or not. No, I don't. Oh, I, I, me I remember what happens. I remember what happens. So, uh, yeah, things are not looking good. Uh, Gardevoir does not have a good matchup, but I do have the scoop up, which I'm actually thankful that I had. So the plan here is to scoop up the Charizard, okay? And that's exactly what I do. I like to MP Charizard. I really do. <clears throat> so we go straight for that Saray again. Hopefully he doesn't hit a dodge. <gasps> and he doesn't. And I hit the fire spin at least twice. That's all I needed. Boom. What do you guys think about the Megas? Do you think the Megas need to be reworked? Do you think that they should only have a plate and only be available for seven turns? Do you guys agree with that or not? Nah? I don't remember what I do here. Do I attack with Mantis? No, I don't. I don't think I do attack with Mantis. Okay. Get the Hyper Beam. I think my opponent uh, moves up the Sableye, possibly. No, he doesn't. He brings up the Rolla. And for my last turn, I'm like, we got to do it. We got to do it. <clears throat> and I was actually okay with that. I was actually okay with that because I don't want to hit dodge. And I get to fly. I'm like, sweet. Too bad. Too bad the Sableye is not around because I can't get two KOs in one turn. Uh, and it made me upset, so I just do the next best thing, and I get next to the goal. Just a threatened game here. I think he puts the Coco on, and then I move back to the entry point. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Yep. <clears throat> takes the or takes the goal, so I take this opportunity to take this man's entry point, and then I don't remember what happens here. Bring up the Zab. Do I bring up the Rollet? On the, start advancing. Yeah, start advancing the roll on the other side. Because I know he's probably going to bring up the Terrakion, and I'm fine with him bringing up the Terrakion, just because Terrakion has two huge dodges. In the event he attacks me and I get a fortunate roll like I have in this game, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> I think I... Oh, I think I remember what I do here. I think I pulled the switch with Charizard and the uh, make, or the Mets. I think that's what I do. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure he confuses me here. Yeah, he confuses me, and I'm like, uh, I'm dead. If he attacks me again, I'm dead. There's 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 no point. <clears throat> Let's 
So I pull the switch, and the plan here is okay, guys. The plan here is, <sighs> Mets, you just you need to survive, and then we can uh, Mega Evolve the Zard, and we can go straight for the Coco. That's the plan. But I have to survive here. I think my opponent actually moves up with Zap. I think. I don't remember. Oh no, he attacks. And he gets the Confuse Rail. I'm like, okay, good. Because if he landed his purple, that or his gold GG boys. So now I have two Confuse Bonds, but now we take this opportunity to uh, be defensive. I thought I was going to go attack with the charge, but I guess not. Decided to be a little uh, defensive here. <coughs> And yeah, so he moves up, he does not attack with the Zableye. I'm like, okay, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to wreak, wreak some havoc. That's exactly what I do. Oh yeah, wait, no, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I attack the Coco. And I'm like, whew. And my Charizard needs to chill here, okay? It gets, whew. Char, bro, Charizard, why chill, dog? 649, chill. Chill, and then uh, I forget how annoying Raikou is because he doesn't gain weight. But my Charizard just hit for 600 plus. You think I'm scared? I am not scared. Your boy Rico is not scared. I mean, unless he hits his thunderous blow and I hit the my purple, then I'm a little, a little bit scared. But he DCs, and I'm like, oh man, just don't hit the thunderous blow, please. And Zard, just hit at least two fire spins or the whites. Bright flame, boom! Like I said before, my Zard hit 600 plus. I ain't scared, and it hits for 500 plus this time. And I'm like, GG boys! I cannot. What? I can't believe this deck actually won. I mean, fortunately, I got some rolls, but uh, I can't believe I won with this deck. And that is GG boys. Your boy Rico won with a non-meta flying deck against a meta against a meta-ish team. With I mean, Coco, the Sap, you know what I mean, Terrakion. It's a pretty much meta team. But uh, let's go back to just Pokemon Duel. I want to show you guys what I'm working on. Oh, we have a we got a booster we need to open up. Can I? When was the last time I pulled an EX? It's gonna be today, right now. Let's go. All right, never mind. We got it. <sighs> Did you guys ever notice the Diglett, like in the games, how there's like a little white spot in the nose? Because we all think that's a nose, right? And then it, they pointed out like, that's not a, that's not his nose, and that's not a white spot on his nose. That's his mouth, and that's his tooth. And I could never unsee it anymore. Like, I'll have to show you guys a picture of that sometime. Um, cool, five Carmenite. Hey, and we have about six minutes left, so we're going to sit and talk for about six minutes so we can open up this gold. Because I want to show you guys what I'm currently working on this next deck that I'm going to start be using Monday because you guys said you want a sleep deck so I created a sleep deck now take a look at my poly world chain leveled it 10 or not chain leveled but leveled it up to level 10 and uh, so now I have this hypnosis that's 37 and a dodge that's 16 that's 53 like I have a 53 neutral turn thank you for who I can't remember who said it in the comments below but that's why I did it so I got this huge hypnosis so I, I decided to bring uh, Leafy on because I wanted to have two runners. And uh, the Malamar, so I brought the Malamar level 5. I, I was thinking that I kind of wanted the NK because NK, if he gets KO'd, um, you are confused. I don't, I, like, let me know in the comments. Do you think I should have NK and then Malamar? But then, oh, I do have the Max Raptor. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. you think I should have an NK Malamar or just Malamar? And then we got the Dark Ride because we haven't really used Dark Ride ever. I put some uh, some stuff. He's level four. I put it into Dark Wood because that's what we want to hit. And I mean, we all know what Dark Ride can do. And then I brought Gengar. Okay, I know you guys said non-meta. I know Gengar is meta, but it's because of Mega Gengar. And I'm not running Mega Gengar because I don't have Mega Gengar. Which I kind of wish I did, but I kind of don't. And it, I'm not running a poison deck either, but the reason why I'm bringing the main Gengar is because of his Night Stalker, which, if the po if it passes through poisoned, noxious, or sleeping Pokemon, they faint. And, listen, I love Garchomp. Garchomp is he's such a dope Pokemon, top 10. Nobody uses him. I kind of want to use him. So, I decided to bring Garchomp primarily because of the double flight. I'm bringing a, a sleep deck. This Pokemon jumps over the battle opponent, moving to a spot adjacent to it. If the opposing Pokemon is affected by a special condition, sleep, it is knocked out. After moving, this Pokemon may attack an opposing Pokemon again. 
but just one. So I kind of want to see that because I haven't really seen it. I've seen maybe like one video a long, long, long time ago, but I really want to see it. I want to see how well it works in the sleep deck. Let me know what you guys think about the sleep deck. My plates, um, <clears throat> just the max, double, double DC, swap. You know how it is, gold block and the switch. I'm using the switch and the swap primarily for the uh, the, the Garchomp and the Garrett or the Gengar, you know, every the plan here is sleep everything and then use those two to uh, just do work. Uh, but I mean, obviously, you can tell this deck gets destroyed by Zapdos by any gold users, essentially, like Mew, Zap, Raikou, like any meta deck, Coco. I'm gonna get destroyed, but you know what? Next Monday, it doesn't matter. I don't care about rank, like I said, for this month, I just want to experiment with different mons and uh, and, and, and see where it takes me because, uh, yeah. And oh, we haven't bought the gems yet, and uh, so I'm missing out on rewards. And I'm kind of—I don't—I'm kind of—I don't know. Like, do I really want to buy these gems? I mean, I do, because when the next banner drops, I—I want to get, you know, whatever the new banner is featuring. But uh, I don't know. Like, you guys—let me know in the comments. What do you guys think I should do? Should I buy the gems or should I not buy the gems? Like I said, I already know I missed out on some rewards, but uh, I don't know. You let me know, and I'll do. The majority rules. Whatever you guys say, I'll do. Uh, but yeah, we have three more <laughs> three more minutes. What can we do for three minutes? All right, well, let's... What do I have to do for my dailies? Daily. Gotta play four league matches. Ooh. Gems, nice. Win a league match. Fusion. I don't want to play league. Because I will get destroyed in it. Yeah. Because um, I'll do that later. I don't want to waste any more time. This video is already long. We're going to, let's see if we can just watch a match. Wait, what am I doing? We have two minutes, three minutes, guys. Let's go to take a crew match. Let's see if anybody we know, wait, what am I doing with my life right now? Feature duel. Let's see if anybody we know is in here. <clears throat> let's see what we got here. Okay, so nobody I know personally, so let's take a look at the decks here. Let's see if there's any interesting decks I want to watch. Ooh, probably this match right here. What? The Reuniclus? Like, we might have to watch the... What? We might have... No, he's only... He's not in 3k. I was going to say, if this man was above 3-ish k, we might have to watch the re Reuniclus. All right, we're gonna watch the uh, Lele. Cool, I'm interested in this. Lele and the Mewtwo, this'll be interesting. Oh yeah, and my deck that I'm currently running gets absolutely destroyed by Solgaleo and Lunala. Because I can't fly over anywhere, I can't switch, I can't do anything. What's he doing? He's, he... Oh, he's going straight for his Lunala, yep. Oh, he's got the chain, nice. Nice. I, I hate Combuskin so bad. DC on that Combuskin. Yup. I wish they would buff. I wish they would uh, nerf some figures like Combuskin. Like, I, I, Combuskin annoys me. But, I mean, I guess it, it all works out because Blaze, we all know how reliable Blaziken is, right? <clears throat> well, except for right now. Oh no, we're not going to be able to see this Lele deck do work. Oh? You better hope you hit this roll, my friend. Well, the Lele deck uh, just got destroyed, pretty much. Unless the Solgaleo's got a... Oh, nice. So it can't make a... 
That's the right attack. That's the right attack. That's the right attack. Question is, does the opponent uh, make you evolve the Gengar now? Nope. Okay, Mewtwo. Okay, Mewtwo. I see you winning some rolls. Nice. I like Lunala. Lunala's a pretty, pretty solid figure. Oh, get that Blaziken out of here. Get that man out of here. X attack? Yep. Ooh. Alright, moves closer to the goal. Now he's got an X attack again. Can he hit this roll? Dicker, can you hit this roll? No, you cannot. And that is GG, boys. Well, we didn't... We didn't really get to see Lele show anything off, but I mean, a win's a win. We're going to end it there, and then we're finally going to open up this gold. Can it please be an EX? Please! <sighs> Alright, by the time you guys see me, I'll be, I'm going to be in 2700. Okay, so no EX right there. Nothing that good. Okay. Uh, yeah, this video's getting pretty long. We're going to cut it there. It's the weekend. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I might upload tomorrow. I don't know. Might be Monday. Because uh, the new Pokemon movie, or not the new, but the Pokemon, the remake of Pokemon I Choose You comes out Sunday, and I'm going to see it. I might make a vlog on it, actually. Okay? Until then, peace.